Speaking of West Michigan, our friend Greg Johnson with the Grand Rapids Press is on the other end of our line. He covers the Spartans at its homecoming weekend. Good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Michael. Uh, what do we know about uh, Illinois? Is this going to be the uh, there's a, a phrase that's going around now that people <coughs> seem to like to use, and they call it a trap game. And I guess that's the fashionable phrase. Is this a so-called trap game for the Spartans? Oh, I'm sure. I think anytime you've uh, just beaten your your biggest rival, really, and uh, and and you're six and all, and it's the halfway point, and you want to relax a little, uh, yeah, definitely. And and, and they've played. I think it helps that they've played a really good game against uh, Ohio State, and then they beat Penn State soundly. I think that helps because now, now you, it kind of makes you pay attention. Oh, wait a minute, this could be a trap game. So, so I think they recognize that early on. But, uh, but you know, it's really human nature to relax for a second after you've succeeded. So we'll see. You know, but I think it is, and and it's homecoming. You know, mm-hmm. there's a lot of reasons why it might be, but. You just never know. You don't know until they go out there and start banging heads. Well, having said that, though, I mean, if if the Spartans have beaten Wisconsin, they've beaten Michigan. Right now, there it, it looks. If you look at the schedule, like it's all downhill from here, except for I guess maybe Iowa and Penn State's kind of a wild card because it comes late in the year. But I mean, if they were ever going to run the table and win the Big Ten championship and go to the Rose Bowl, they are in perfect position to do that, are they not? Based on just the schedule alone. Well, the schedule's been set up that way through the year, but they still have road games, and road games are a little bit different animal. They've played play, played well on the road, but on the road so far, they haven't had to leave, you know, the state of Michigan. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, when they play at Northwestern and they play at Iowa yet, those are two two really big games. And then you have a trap game like this, even though it's at home, it's still, you know, you got to play good football. And, and they just beat. Penn State soundly. I mean, they beat them 33 to 13, and that's the same Penn State team that scored 45 points on you <laughs> in your last game last year. You know, of, mm-hmm. of the regular season. So, so I don't think you know. I don't think they can afford to rest on their laurels too much if they do that. You know, and if they start thinking they're going to win the Big Ten championship early, you know, they've got to stick with what they've done all along, which is let's go one and zero this week and. Football teams really have to do that. Coach is talking about it, and it's cliche, but it's it's just really true. You got to pay attention this week, or the other guys, you know, they put on helmets and pads too. They're going to knock your knock you in the block. Do we know if uh, Mark D'Antonio is going to be in the press box or on the sideline? He's, he's planning to be in the press box again. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, he may show up on the sideline before the game, and some of the he, it'll probably be similar to Michigan, maybe a little bit more on the field, simply because it's a it's a friendlier environment, <laughs> you know, at home at Sparta Stadium. Yeah. But it's still dangerous for him to be down there and, you know, get run over and had his, you know, have his leg hurt or anything like that. So he's he's still going to be uh, in the press box. And he said, until I can walk a full practice, which is about three hours long, I'm not going to try to walk a full game. Yeah, with the intensity even higher. We'll read you in the Grand Rapids Press. I'll uh, text you tomorrow if you're coming out early. I'm going to be popping around all the tailgates on my bike. Maybe we can get together. Great, yeah, we'll we'll try to hook up. That'd be wonderful. Greg Johnson, Grand Rapids Press, Michael Patrick Shields.